let's do a follow-up to this 2015 Honda CRV that about 15 minutes ago I started this running and I did the previous video this was the one with the bad compressor clutch burnt out also had a blown fuse and I just made the video on the fish gear over there and so now this has been running that entire time the cabin is cooled down I have all the doors I don't have a load on it I have it on recycle air remember the high side so our, our when I started taking this video I think it was roughly 70 degrees outdoor ambient temperature we're going between 77 and 80 degrees depending on how the air from under the car comes up rolls over and hits the thermistor down there uh, but look at how high we are at this rather low because remember this has a dead fan too one fan is dead so here's unloaded with a cool cabin look at the high side look at the low side section line temperature 50 degrees that's where and my it's actually a little colder than that but the exhaust manifold is right there and the hot air is hitting my clamp so it's giving me a false reading you can see the line is all wet it's uh, condensation on the line come on focus you can see the condensation so we know we're cold so now I'm going to open up the doors and windows we're gonna let some heat in. We got 122 degree up there, air right up the crow. We're gonna put it off of recycle onto regular air vent mode. There, we're now onto regular air vent mode. Focus. We're not on recycle. And let's uh, just open everything up. Okay, now we're gonna have a load over the evaporator. So we're at 280, 285, 286, 287, 88, 90. Look at that air. Now I'm not taking the air temperature in the right location. The right location is if I was to pop up this vent and I stick my temperature sensor way down inside the vent, I did not feel like pulling out this glove box and uh, getting back inside the filter and dropping the temperature gauge so I could take the mixed air because it pulls in air from the sides over on the side there from all different places and it mixes it but I bet you it's about 98 to 102 degrees going to that evaporator because I've done that kind of experimentation where I take the air temperature up here at different places and then I take the thermometer and I put it on the inside above the air filter or below the air filter and I take the mix air temp. So different days, different humidities, different ambient, different cars, not all the same, will give you a different mixed air result. This is not your true air, air result here. That 127 degrees, it's a hundred and something, but it's loading another 322. So we'll keep going up until we start slipping the clutch or go so high, luckily, but if they were low on refrigerant, you'll go as high as slip into clutch, overheating it, uh, burning the bearing grease out, and taking out another compressor. So that's all I wanted to show you was, and look at our low side, how much it went up. Look at our high side, how much. And look at, uh, look at our suction line temperature. We're up to 67 degrees. Our dash air coming out the dash, we're at 62 degrees right now. So look at the beginning of the video before I opened the doors and now and see what the influence is of having a heat load on your system and only having one fan working because one is dead, one is working. All right, that's it guys.